Oh man, we're gonna have to sail right by these pirates. This could be scary. We're gonna see a pirate ship pretty early on then. I've gotta be careful. Because I've gotta outrun them, but I'm not a very fast ship. Are we gonna see them? Alright everybody, Baron here and welcome to... Oh my gosh, this game has me absolutely addicted to it. It is so fun, the sense of exploration, the sense of progress and combat. Like, oh, this is basically it in a nutshell. It's beautiful. We basically get a ship, and you can upgrade to many different kinds of ships. You explore the ocean, and then you send out little boats when you get into a hunting area, and we hunt whales. Sometimes we'll encounter sharks. Other times we'll encounter pirates, aborigines. It's just pure adventure in this game, and I absolutely adore it. So let's start ourselves a new game. Now... I'm not going to be Captain Ishmael, I am going to be Baronius, because I was just Captain Baron a while back. What's this sea dog? You can save only by quitting the game. Oh, features permadeath. Mm, yeah, that's not, we don't need the tutorial though anymore. I've got one point left to spend, I'm going to make myself a really good hunter, and my trait that I'm going to go for, let's see, what is this? Smart. Plus one point to spend in attributes? Nah. Plus two damage in combat against sea creatures? That sounds good. Plus one HP per level? Plus one HP... Wow. Plus one XP gain per day of navigation? We're gonna go with greater combat. Because we're gonna be whale hunters. Here we go. Look at- look at that beautiful game! Oh my gosh! Mmm! Tell me the story. Drinky harpooners. Drink and swear, ye men that man the deathful whale boat's bow. Death to Moby Dick. God hunt us all if we do not hunt Moby Dick to his death. <laughs> Look at these savages. These are my crew members, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my. What a giant whale. That's Moby Dick's eye. So basically, the game takes place just after, I guess, the, uh, Curse what happened? Be the Here we go. The trust of him man, and maketh flesh his arm. I was cursed. Twice. By the Lord for my blasphemous promise to hunt Moby Dick. And by Ahab for surviving the Pequod and its sons swallowed by the sea. I was craving to conquer my spot in heaven by striking my iron in Moby Dick's heart. So I headed back to Nantucket. Nantucket! Looking for a new ship and wealth seeking sailors. Ah, look at beautiful Nantucket. And that is where we start, my friends. Oh, yes, Baron's Brigade. We are in the beautiful port of Nantucket. So there's basically four main areas of interest whenever you get into a port. You've got your newspapers. So the newspaper shows current historical news and available quests. That is what we will be looking for now. You get a little bit of news, but you really want to get the jobs, right? But it's kind of cool to see, like, in January 1820, like, what's happening in the world, right? So, discover a new whaling area. Absolutely. I'm going to accept both these quests. Now, we want a little bit of cash. Unveil the Alabama's destiny. Basically, ships will go missing quite often. And we're the ones who have to go out and find what happened to them. Maybe rescue some people, maybe loot some treasures, maybe fight off pirates, maybe fight some sea creatures that are quite nasty. So, you know, there's quite a bit going on. Then we've got the shipwright. Now, we start with this, the Melville. Can I rename this? Because that is a terrible name. I would like to name it Melvionius or something other than this because it's quite quite terrible. We've only got a thousand dollars, so I've got to be very careful how we spend it. We're gonna need to buy provisions. We've got 32 hit points, which mostly deals with if you come into contact with icebergs or other pirate ships. We've got a cargo storage bay of 64. Now, we'll, we'll get into that, but look at this. Look at some of the ships you can get. A cutter or a clipper. I want a clipper so bad. It's $8,500. That's like the nicest ship, right? You've got a bark and a clipper, and you can see that there's 10 knots for speed. We're at 6 knots currently, which is not the best. But there's 6, 8, 10, 4. There's even some 4s in here, I'm pretty sure. But you can upgrade them, and there's even these little upgrade parts. So let's go ahead and actually... I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. $200. We'll 
goodness. I don't want to use my money to upgrade my ship just yet, because we're going to need to buy a lot of other things. So, that's the ship, right? Now let's go to- let's go find ourselves a crew. So right now, I've got three active spots, and there's only me, Baronius, with HP of 13. Now, here's the key thing. I've got a prestige of only four. I'm pretty much a newbie around town, so to attract, like, the big bucks to, you know, want to join my team is going to be a little tricky. Now, could I get one of these guys? What do you got? Oh, a hunter. We're going to get a hunter. Now, this, I, I checked their attack die to kind of see what their abilities are, but I'm going to go with this guy. He's got 22 hit points, so we'll hire him. And then we've we've used all of our prestige on the one guy, so basically I'm gonna go get some cabin boys. They have no remarkable skills whatsoever. They're basically just bodies. And uh, you know, they, they, we've got names and families. And do they have other nationalities? They're all Americans. They're all American. Good old American boys. Why am I using Why am I using that? an ambiguous accent when they're supposed to be damn Americans? So we visited three out of the four. Now we're gonna go to the general store. Now we've got provisions for ne less than one day. So what I'm gonna do is buy, let's see. We're gonna need some water. Oh man, it's cheap. I like to get a hundred days worth because I like to go on some long voyages and with a small crew, it's not that difficult to obtain that, right? So, actually, I spent $336 right there. But I've got a decent amount of provisions, which should allow me to go forth. So now, we're ready to leave Nantucket. It's the 1st of January in the year 1820 of our blessed savior, Moby Dick. Actually, our, our, our nemesis, Moby Dick. Now you're about to see my favorite part of the game. This is... Oh my gosh, it's glorious. This is the map. So right now, I'm paused. That's why you see it as gray and white. Now, once I start going, we're gonna see the colors open up. Now, there's gonna be a fog of... You could call it a, a fog of war or fog of, or unexplored areas. Now, look at this. There's the Port Horta here, and then there's the Port Peterhead. Now, if I check here, the missions, I discover a new whaling area. I can go that. That's this area up here. I'm gonna go see what it is. But then, to unveil the Alabama's destiny, the Alabama went from Nantucket to Peterhead, England. And it was, or I guess that could be Scotland, maybe? On the way? And uh, we've got to figure out what that happen what happens there. By doing these, we get some pretty decent money. So that is what we're going to be up to first. We're going to go get ourselves some whales, though. Now, I'm going to have it on three times speed. And look at this. See, this is just the absolute beauty that is this game. Look at this. Oh. Go away. Morale drop. There's little events that happen. Ooh. So this is one of the fun parts. Every now and then your crew members will come in and give you these other little tasks. So he's saying, I need to ask you something important, Captain. I've been informed that my dearest friend has been kidnapped by vile usurers, and I would like to help him. Would you consider helping me? Of course, my good man, Dennis, you cabin boy. Lower the whale boats. So we've, we've gotten to the area where the people in Nantucket were saying, hey, this could be a whale hunting grounds. We're not sure. Will you go explore it? So now it says, Finn ahoy! Your lookout yells as he spots a fin in the distance. Maybe whale sighting rumors about this area were true. So we're going to lower the whale boats and we're going to instigate a creature encounter. We're hoping this is whales because if it's sharks, it's not a hunting ground. So basically, I get to pick three people. This is my whale boat here and I've got four crew. So only three people can get on it. Obviously, now, Baronius got, he's a, he has some pretty good attack value. Now, I want you to think about this like a, a six-sided die. Out of, out of the six chances of a rolling of a die, I only have three opportunities to get a hit. The other ones are misses. So we're gonna assign myself the captain. And then we've got Dan, Dan the man, good old Dan. Now, Dan has a, pr a more powerful harpoon strike. His do 10 damage, mine only do seven. He's also got this Fasten ability, which we'll get into. Now, he's got four reds and two grays, so he's got a 66% chance to get to get a hit on the enemy, right? So we're gonna sign him, and then we're just gonna get good old Johnny. Now, Johnny's only got two out of six because he is a cabin boy, and he is arguably worthless. However, that doesn't mean he can't grow up and become big and strong. Oh, we got ourselves a first narwhal. So this is gonna be pretty easy. We've got ourselves a little newborn narwhal. So we're gonna roll the die. And we, we, 
We threw blanks. So think about this like rolling die in a uh, board game. And that's kind of how the combat goes. But it is so deep and it's so rich and it's so fun. So Baronius took the narwhal's lance to the face and it scraped my cheek and it's quite nasty. Are you kidding me? If I die to a baby narwhal in the first moments of this game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poop on my keyboard. Finally, okay, so now I'm gonna let, now he's only got three hit points and this would do eight damage. Now any of these guys could, could finish off the narwhal, but I'm gonna use Baronius. So he, I think he gets, everybody gets like credit for being there. But I wonder, I think it affects morale. I think there might be some subtle, you know, boost in experience. Yeah, see, everybody split experience. And then I got prestige. And then we've got, oh yeah, morale. So I get prestige, they get morale. But however, if I would have let one of them, the morale would have gone up. So now you get the blubber. And it's really unfortunate because we don't, we don't have a lot. Um, but I'm going to get two narwhal, or two narwhal. Two narwhal blubber, yeah, and then some food. So now we gotta go back to Nantucket to basically announce that that is a hunting area. And then it gets popped up on the map. Yeah, see, discover new whaling area. We did that, now we gotta go back. We're gonna get some money. And I'm gonna use that money to upgrade the harpoons. And then we're gonna go exploring. All right, so we sold the blubber automatically. We don't have any oil. And in fact, in my playing, just kind of testing, learning the ropes, I've, I haven't gotten to oil yet. Now, so we sold 47 total bucks, but you see this lay? That's like their percentage. They got nothing. Dan, I think gets a little bit. Or maybe they all just get one. But I got the majority of that money, but it, it's kind of pennies right now. Wait till you see the whales we're gonna be getting. And I can also sell food that I get from the narwhals, but basically, we're gonna go back to the people who run the newspaper and we're like, hey, we did it. We, you know, we, we found out a new area. You successfully explore a new possible whaling area in Baffin Bay. And now we can find next, we can find new jobs in next month's paper. So it's the first of February. It's only been a month in our, in our, in our world. And what happened? The Irish captain Edward Bransfield lands on the mainland of Terra Australis. Now, is that Antarctica? I believe so. And then there's some more there's some more history there. So let's see. Our prestige is four out of five, so we could get another person, but I'm just gonna wait. Because if I fire someone, I lose a prestige, so I wouldn't get anywhere. Here we go. Here's another thing to show I get 93% of the money gained, and our crew only gets 7% currently. The better crew you get, the more you're gonna have to pay them. That's just the way it is. You gotta pay for good work. So here's an event. Now, depending on what I do. I have an 80% chance to get a positive trait, a 20% chance to get a negative one. Let's roll the die. Yes, and we got a good trait, which is great. So we also leveled up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and boost our attack value. Or at least our, our hunting skills. One of your cabin boys, a diligent kid who wants to become a well-respected sailor, one day admires you as a role model and keeps following you everywhere. Well, I've got no skills to teach him, unfortunately. This is where a random event would have happened and I could have taught him something that would boost his abilities. And instead, it, his morale drops. Oh, here we go. Fins ahoy. Your lookout yells as he spots a fin in the distance. It could be a precious whale. So we're gonna lower the whale boats and we're gonna see what we've got. All right, so we've gotta destroy all of them. Now I'm just gonna use the last crew we did. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, it's a, it's a great white shark. It is a newborn great white shark. You'll notice that when we're in the smaller boats, and ooh, we got stunned by a random event. Um, but we should be able to roll, and one of these guys should be able to get it. Oh, here we go. Baronius, the Shark Slayer. Oh man, look at that. I have killed a narwhal and a shark. I am all that is man. And unfortunately, with sharks, you only really get food. You don't get whale blubber. Because guess what, guys? Contrary to popular belief, sharks ain't whales at all. All right, so here we go. This is probably the ship. Your lookout spots a smoke plume in the distance coming from a burning ship. Approaching the ship, it looks like the one you were looking for, but the fire is rapidly destroying it. So here we go. There's a 50% chance that nothing is found, a 40% chance I get some money, and then 10% chance a random crew member dies. Now, there's also some of these other ones. Now, this is what? That was a 10% chance. This is a 20% chance. 
And then we could always just, like, look for survivors. In this early stages, I'm almost tempted to get prestige because I need better crew members more than I need cash. You actually don't have to pay crew members cash. You need just prestige. And then you pay them from... And you just give them a split of what you're making. Aha! So here we go. The cabin boy's been following us around everywhere. I will teach you how to survive seize many moods. Basically, I'm giving them a strong trait. But look at that. Now we can go check out what's going on. So that was Dennis, right? Look at that. So it seems like our speed is saying we're we're already a, almost a week late. We're over a week late, but look at this. He got the strong trait, and he has diligent trait. So now we've made it all the way to Peterhead, England. All right. So we're only at 716. We're still we're still scratching the bottom of the barrels. But I like to go to the newspapers and get the job. So we're gonna ex oh 71 days away in the Sea of Zanj. In the Sea of Zanj, 71 days away is probably in the Pacific Ocean. All right, and so Peterhead to Nantucket. Oh, that's good. So there's one on the way back we can get. So another cool thing is, yeah, we got to Peterhead and we, we finished a quest that was like on the voyage of Nantucket to Peterhead. But that, but we have to go check this out. We actually have to go back to Nantucket to get our reward. They don't have the internet. They don't have like, you know, cell phones and all that fancy stuff. And messenger pigeons just simply wouldn't make it. So we've got to go back ourselves. Now, I do want to follow the same route, so but I'm going to stop here and go visit Horta on the way. So let's see. I've got over 103 days provision for most things. So we're going to travel. You never know what could happen. Now, Horta is an interesting harbor. We can't buy a new ship. Well, actually, we can buy new ships. But it's limited. It's a two star out of three. One of the things I'd like to see is that they change the port depending on where you're at. Because this looks like the Nantucket in the English one. But we get to do ourselves, we get to go to the newspaper. Now it's only two out of three, so we're going to discover a new whaling area. Now, as you've seen, you don't always discover it. Sometimes there's nothing there. Now we're going to go, we're going to follow the route to Nantucket and hopefully find, there we go. There we go. Your lookout spots a ship in trouble in the distance. Approaching the ship, it looks like the one you were looking for. And it is rapidly sinking as water floods in from a big hole in the hull. So here we go. This is another one of those things where, like, I usually go with the conservative thing. I want the prestige. I want those better crew members. Now we'd have to go back to Peterhead to get our reward for this. So we're kind of staying in the northern Atlantic right now. So we've got to fire one of our cabin boys. Now Johnny here has a trait... He's non-swimmer. If he ever goes overboard in combat, he's gone. He gone for good. Johnny, you're probably gonna get fired. And then there's Dennis. Dennis is a diligent young man who's strong. Well, who do you think we're gonna fire? Johnny, you gone, son. Now, we've got four out of eight prestige, so I can fire, uh, fire. I can hire another four. So I'm thinking that a sailor would be pretty good. Now, what is your combat die? Ooh, you have a pretty cool skill there. Oh, the Cecil. What does Cecil got? Cecil got much the same. Oh, look at this. Plus 50% food consumption. You gluttonous man. Or we could get a medic. I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a sailor, though. Now we're gonna we're gonna alter where he is in the boat. Now Steven's gonna be coming to play here. He's a sailor, so he's got better field of view. He's got sailing speed boost and also in combat he's got some pretty cool skills that we're gonna we're gonna try to see if we can't get away with using them all right lower the whale boats and check the area we've got a creature encounter if it's not a shark usually it indicates it's a whale hunting ground now we'll get steven on here oh yeah so check this out man we've got four options here Ooh, and dan dan the man Ooh, bowhead whales and there's two of them, and they're both deciding to attack, so I'm hoping to get a good attack and knock one out real quick. Excellent. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the orange one. And that limits his ability to hit us. And now it's the gray one. He did a charge. Oh, we went over- Dan went overboard! Oh, he's overboard. He can't issue commands. But luckily he can swim. So here we go. We're gonna roll, and we've got a protective maneuver or a strike. I'm gonna go with a strike, just to take him out. Now we actually got some whales. We actually got some blubber this time. We finally do it. Look at that 12 blubber. $300 value. And you get a lot of food as well. So now we've got to go what? Back to Nantucket? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I messed up. 
I didn't have this tag, so we, we do have a narwhal fishing area, and we do have bowhead whales over here. I cannot believe I forgot that. Oh, and here's a nice little sea shanty. They're, they're pretty epic. Ready? And then they just sing, and they just sing for us, for our, for our listening pleasure. What was that? Did someone fall overboard? The music was so good he fell overboard. So it's July 18th in the lower left, and this, when hovering over the hunting ground, this one goes till September 21st. So I'm gonna go here. We're provisioned for 100 days, and if need be, we can always go back to Nantucket. Oh no, we had to throw out water. Looks like one of the water barrels is leaking. So that takes us down to 86 days, still fine. All right, nine days to the narwhal hunting grounds. These bowhead whales are harder than the narwhals, I think. But I think bowheads might produce more blubber. We're gonna hunt some whales, boys. So now you kinda gotta hang out here a little bit. We've encountered a creature. I wonder how many there are, yikes. Hopefully not too many. I'm hoping that there's two of them or less. Yes, there's two of them or less and they're both babies. Now they're both gonna probably, oh, they, oh really? You stunned me, you son of a biscuit. Dilly dilly! Oh, here we go. We got a nice strike. So we'll go ahead and hit this one. Take him out. Easy peasy. A tusk strike on dance, and then we get this residual bleeding, which is minus two damage per turn. Random sea creature gets the state stunned. Okay, well the only other survivor is stunned, so we should be able to knock him out. Boom. Give me that blubber. Give me that sweet nectar. I'm actually gonna stay out here a little bit. Plus one HP per day to man inside, and Dan is lost to health. Dan the man. So let's hunt whales for hopefully two days. Oh, I think it was about one day. Another creature encounter. Oh, we got three of them. Yikes, what did I sign up for? And they're all going for an attack. Okay. Well, Baronius is gonna strike Captain Baronius. The Whale Slayer. A Tusk Strike on Steven and a Tusk Strike on Dan. We're gonna have Residual Bleeding. I ain't no thing about checking why I don't mind. Oh, so I could show you the Evasive Maneuver, but in this situation, it's not needed. Because I can only prioritize. Once I get a second boat, a second whale boat, which we get by getting a bigger ship. Come on, Dan. Keep, stay strong. All of our guys are bleeding. So after this whale hunting, we should probably dip out of here. Come on, give me one attack. Everybody roll duds. That's no good. Which is a risk. Now you get the residual bleeding, and it sucks. All right, so now we know that this is interesting. Cloudy seagulls. Creatures play their cards face up. We know what they're gonna do. We well, just got the tusk strike. I'm gonna go ahead and give Baronius the glory here again. Did Baronius kill all these, or did Dan also get one? Today, the victory is ours. We're gonna get... Six more of that. All right, so I've situated my crew in such a way. Oh, please don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a pirate ship. We're gonna try to shoot at the pirates. If I do this right, yeah, we got money and prestige. That was beautiful. Just a random event that just popped up. You gotta love the RNG of it. Sometimes the RNG can be favorable. In my last gameplay, I had narwhals here and narwhals here. Now I've got bowheads and narwhals, which are a little far. So it was easy to get some cash early on in that game. Look at that, $171. Not too bad, not too bad. Now we go over here, go to the jobs. We're going to get our reward, 250 and prestige. And this one is in progress. We're going to leave that. So I'm going to upgrade my sailing technology. So here we go. We're in Peterhead. Let's check our... How's the crew doing? Crew upgrade. Dennis can choose a class. Oh, look at this. So Dennis, we can promote him. Now what do we want to make him? I think I want to make him a scientist so he can become a medic and he can heal us. Yes, oh yes, Dennis. Look at that good old Dennis. Me, me Dennis, old boy. Oh, and look at this. Now that we've got a scientist or whatever, like we can see the basic currents. These arrows are kind of like the best ways to ride the current. Oh man, we're gonna have to sail right by these pirates. This could be scary. We're gonna see a pirate ship pretty early on then. I've got to be careful, because I've got to outrun them, but I'm not a very fast ship. Are we going to see them? Oh, we didn't even see the ship. Okay, good. But they are close to that area. All right, so we're going to lower the whale boats and see what this is. What whales are in this area? We're, we'll go the same lineup. Ooh, it's one killer whale. A young one. 13 hit points. We should be fine. He's only got one attack. 
Aha, I can do a protective maneuver. I think they're gonna go after Baronius, who's the lowest health. Am I right? Nope, he's going after Steven, and he bit Steven pretty hard. Come on. I was hoping that we could get some better die. We've had some pretty poo-poo die rolls. Dilly dilly! There we go, we've got- Oh, we could do an ev evasive maneuver. You wanna see an evasive maneuver, or we could fasten him. Yeah, I wanna do an evasive maneuver, take away his ability. So we removed his ability. We're still bleeding. Please do something passive, he's doing something aggressive. Alright, so I can do- I'm gonna go ahead and fasten him. We- we roped him, so he can't dive, he can't escape us. Oh, and he bit Steven again. That's rough, this is gonna be close. But we bled- we- he was also bleeding, so he's done. The day is ours! Oh, and S Steven's having a bad time. And we got eight blubber from it, but killer whales are a little outside of our class right now, so let's- Let's go and get down to Imba- Imbatuba. Alright, we made it to Imbatuba. And we've got a sea shanty playing. I'm thinking we, we made a tad bit of money there. And what's the news? There's no news here. See how it's a one star? That means there's nothing. This is basically just to get provisions and if you need some cabin boys. So this area is garbage. So I think it'll be safest to go to Cape Town first. Plus, I think... Yeah, we don't know how good of a town it is. They might have good news. They might have good sailors. They might have good ships. You just gotta get over there and explore it. Oh. Oh, gosh. We went through a storm and it triggered. There's a really good chance that Steven's not gonna make it. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try this one. Oh! Woo! We could have lost two people there, but it was a lower probability. Alright, we're almost to Cape Town. Oh, and there's a storm. Oh my gosh, and we slow down right in it. Increasing the chances that something bad would happen. Luckily, we made it. So what do we got? We have no news here. Is there anything good here? There's no ship repairing at all. There's no news. It's basically just another trade port. So we'll buy some- we'll buy some vit- vittles here. Now it's time to explore this. How far away- wow, 22 days? Jeez. It's the same- there's no Suez Canal or we could go all the way up it. Oh, I guess you can't go through the Strait of- is that the Strait of Hormuz? Or is that on the other side? I don't know. We can't go through it though. Bummer. I don't even know what kind of whales are gonna be up here. I never even came up here. I will teach you to be smart, Dennis. Now shut up. As you cross a particularly rocky area, you notice some debris among the rocks, probably coming from a ship recently wrecked there. With due caution, you think you can recover something useful. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Because we can't repair our ship anywhere around here. I'm actually gonna go around Madagascar this time. Lower the whale boats. Oh, it's a shark encounter. Bummer. So there's no whales over here, it's just a shark. So we could fight it, or we could run from it. It depends. Two small sharks. I think we could take it. Oh, we got an evasive maneuver. Now I'm gonna use the evasive maneuver on the more powerful shark, so that his more powerful attack can't hit us. Man, I wanna watch pirate movies now. Have you ever guys- have you guys ever watched Black Sails? One of the best shows ever. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Get rid of the bigger guy. Oh, that was kind of silly. We could have gone for the guy who was actually going to attack us. But it is of no concern. One solid hit, and we're good. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do his cabin boy die. N oh, God. We need to do it this time, or, we're, or this guy might perish. Oh, man. This is, this is for all the marbles. All of Steven's marbles right now, guys. Yes. Dan the man with the strike. So Steven's going to go down to two hit points. From the bleeding, I believe. And we only get food, so it really wasn't a lot, but you know what, whatever. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put Steven here to heal up. Ooh, we get a new skill! Excellent! I'm gonna do this one. Fasten. Dandy, wandy, spandy, oh, the Sea of Zanj. Now, Baronius is a much better hunter than he was. I mean, I'll be honest, he. He wasn't the best one we've ever had. Well, we've explored Madagascar. Look how beautiful. Now, which one's the Horn of Africa? Is it here? This is the Cape. Is this the Horn? Because this looks more like a Horn. The Horn of Africa, right? I mean, I don't know where it is. I never, like, looked into that. All right, we're going to go from Cape Town. Oh, we're going to avoid the pirates, avoid the killer whales. I think I'm going to go to Porta. Oh, God, it's a pirate! 
The pirate chase is down. Did you see that? Now I can try to negotiate for safe transit. I can bribe them. I'm gonna bribe them. Whew. Oh god, and there's a storm. We're talking about a perilous journey back home, man. Goodness. So, we could have fought them, but we just, we don't have the crew to do it just yet. The pirates would tear us up. Tear us up. Aha, we get the reward. 200 monies. Oh, look at this. So these are the Portuguese islands. Simão, Alexandra, Duarte, Lucas, Martim, and Enrique. Now, unfortunately, Oh, we could get, ooh, we could get some Portuguese. We could have a, a truly international. So let's see. We're just a bunch of Americans. We need to get some other crew members in here. You know, we need to diversify our workforce. All right, we've made it back to England. Let's go ahead and get our rewards. Ha! Huh. We could kill Aruba Charlie. The problem with fighting Aruba Charlie is you need to be level 10, and we are what? We are not a level 10. We're not even close to level 10. Ah, look! We're passing home. What up, St. Petersburg, Florida? We're going, we're going over here into Louisiana here. Oh my gosh, Hunter Dan, Hunter Dan, no! By following a villager's instructions, as you reach your crew member's sister's house, a wooden cabin just outside of the village. As you approach, you see your man lying on the ground, covered in blood. Oh no. His brother-in-law got him. Now, if I had the resuscitation skill, we'd have a 50% chance, so... Dang it. Hunter Dan, our best guy. Our quarter deck is empty. So we can't even sail right now because... The person that was doing it, he gone now. Oh, I'm gonna hire a 10-skilled guy. Check this out. Look at his die. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get this guy gonna be the best whale hunter we have ever seen in our lives. Now, do we want Dennis or do we want. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really afford anybody else just yet. Or, I mean, in terms of my prestige level. Alright, the narwhal hunting grounds are open. We desperately need some money, guys. We're gonna go hunt some whales. Ooh, an adult narwhal. Okay. Okay, there. Don't stun Lester. All right, let's do it. So, Baronius is stunned. Oh my god, we rolled blanks. The the bigger narwhal dove, Steven took a, a tusk to the cheek. Maybe even took off a baby toe. I don't even know about it. There's as many stories about old Greg as there are sailors in Nantucket. And that's 29. You guys know where that's from? Ooh, we got a blind. I'm gonna do that. This one's, d see, since he's diving, I can't hit him. But I can do this ability, which is gonna, well, you know, I guess if, if we're gonna take him out, we might as well use the captain. I'm the captain now. Now he doesn't get attack us. So we gotta wait for this guy to surface, and when he does, man, we're gonna give him what for. I'm gonna fasten it so he can't escape us, and then there's gonna do a little bleeding, and he's roped to us. And we did it, we 14 damage, he's going after Steven again. Oh, yeah, and then there's that bleed damage, the residual bleed damage, which goes both ways. Steven and Lester and the Narwhal. I know it's Narwhal, but I like to say Narwhal. I'm sure some of you are like, hey, Byron, did you? And I'm like, yeah, I know about that. Now we're going to give Baronius. Actually, no, we're going to give Lester the final one. Maybe his morale will go up. The day is ours. Let's see. Yeah, he got plus one level. Steven did. And then Lester got plus five morale. Steven got plus five morale. Dennis did not compete. This is gonna be such a good game to stream. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. By the way, guys, Facebook. I've got a Facebook link and I want you to check it out, man. All right, we're back home. Oh man, I just closed that, but I think we got some decent money. Let's see, oh yeah, we're over a thousand now. That's great. This one's in progress. Discover the new whaling area. So guys, should we save up in which of these ships should we buy in the next episode? The Emma and Jesse, I believe, are similar. These two are the same, right? No, these aren't even the same. It's like, should we... Oh man, these ones are really nice. Going up to Brigantines? A sloop would even be an improvement, but I want to go up to two whale boats, so I'm thinking... We gotta get something with two whale boats. Do we want a brigantine? Do we want a schooner? We've gotta do a little bit of research here. You can also get that from, like, I could buy a cook, and that would help us out. 
But anyway, guys, let me know what we should do. But yes, I am absolutely hooked on this game. It is so much fun. The sense of exploration, the sense of progress, the beautiful artwork in the overworld map. I just wish that if I could change one thing, I would change the look of the combat mechanics. Like when you're fighting the whales, when you're fighting pirates, when you're fighting the aborigines. That would be cool if we could do it different. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.